Let's face it, we all think that we're great communicators, yet we all keep having problems as a result of miscommunication, right? So what can we do to make sure that we are communicating at our best, whether it's in our relationships, in our professional lives, or just in our everyday interactions with others? Let's find out. Here to help us this morning is author and consultant Stacy Hunky. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. It's a pleasure. Now, you have this great book, and I've got it right here. It's Yes, You Can, Everything You Need from A to Z to Influence Others to Take Action. We're talking about effective communication this morning. Is that what effective communication is? Is it taking influencing others to take action? Because mm -hmm. every day we communicate, whether it's over the phone, whether it's in person like we are doing right now. And the whole purpose of communication is how can I have impact? So that I've got some influence on this individual and they act on what I have to say. The challenge is identifying how do you do that and what makes that happen. So you've kind of put some of that information into the book here. Mm -hmm. Who did you intend this for? As you were putting this all together, were you thinking, okay, this is going to be for working professionals? Is this going to help women, parents? What were you thinking about? You're going to be surprised when I say it's for everyone. Because every day we communicate. Think about how much you and I have, have communicated just at this point of the day. Yeah. And whether it's non-verbally, whether it's verbally, we're always communicating. Whether it's the working mom at home, communicating with her children, communicating with neighbors, communicating with the plumber, whoever it may be, or it is the woman who's in corporate world and needs to be heard. Whether that's in the boardroom, whether that's with her boss, her peers that she needs to motivate. Mm -hmm. Communication makes up what we do day in and day out. So whoever you are, whatever you do professionally, personally, you're going to find some practical and immediate takeaways in that book. One of the things that I loved about the way you organized this, it's literally organized from A to Z with specific problems people might have in communicating. Did you intend for people to read it from cover to cover or can they just go at it where they see their problems? How many of us can sit down with a book, <laughs> how many of us have time, speaking of working women, sit down and read a book cover to cover, done, check it off our list, now we can actually apply it. Design the book so that depending on what's going on in your life, if you're having difficulties communicating in your relationships, mm -hmm. or if you're having difficulty being heard and communicating at the at workforce, or maybe you are delivering a presentation that's coming up, find the area in that book that pertains to that moment of your life that you need experience in, you want some practical skill sets with, I promise you, you could read one chapter, set it down, and immediately be able to apply it. And then see it affecting your life. Tell me some of the, the things that, the, the keys to being a successful communicator. What, what, what do these people possess that maybe every, that we all don't? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I think what is more shocking and surprising for most individuals, because I get that ask, question asked often, we don't know what we don't know. Right. And we kind of walk around life not knowing what we don't know, and we really don't get a clear sense of what other people see and hear when we communicate. A lot of what effective communication is, is how you deliver a message. It's not so much what you say, it's how you do it. So it's how you enter a room. Do you enter that room like you belong there? How do you sit? How do you look at someone when you communicate? What do your hands communicate? Your posture communicates? And when someone's more aware of how their body language is being conveyed, how it's being perceived, are they being perceived as confident, professional? That's when you start hitting that point where people respond to you differently. And when I say differently, they listen to you. They take action off of what you say. It's like hitting the sweet spot in the tennis racket. When you hit that sweet spot and you realize that was it, that was it. that's effective communication. We'll connect with you. But you have to experience it to be able to hit the sweet spot. Right. It takes practice. It, it takes practice. Well, and your book definitely can help you learn the keys to, to practice, at least. Learn the things that you need to practice in effective ways. Thank you Thank so you. much for you joining us. Thank you so much for the opportunity. A pleasure having you here. If you would like to grab a copy of this book, Yes, You Can, Everything You Need from A to Z to Influence Others to Take Action, or if you'd like to learn more about Stacey Hunky and how she can help you, just check out StaceyHunky.com.